Steve, you're about to take on the best team in the world. How do you plan for that and how do you try and combat their threats? Yeah, I think the work we did last week in training, there were, there were some signs of it in the, the game against Cyprus. Uh, obviously between the two games, it, it's more about rest and recovery. So hopefully the players remember a lot of the messages they got last week. Then you have to execute, execute your plan. You, we have to hope for an almost perfect performance, certainly defensively. We can't make too many mistakes because we know if we do that we'll be punished. Is it more about shape then and, and discipline and the, the tactics that you've set out? No, no, there's, there's a little bit of everything. Obviously shape and, and tactics and, and whatever, whatever is important, but also the character of the players as well, the personality of the players. We, we've got good players in our squad, uh, players who play at a really good level, and they have to relish the challenge that, that, that faces us tomorrow night. Have you looked back at the friendly Scotland played uh, at Hamden against Belgium in September? I had, a, I had a quick look at it, but obviously time constraints meant that I had to look to, towards their, their more recent performances. Uh, and they're not bad, they're a good team. And we'll give them all the respect they deserve, but we'll go, out, we'll go out there tomorrow and try and make it as difficult a night as possible for them. Do you have to say to the players, given what happened that night, just to forget about that, given it was a friendly and things have changed since then? No, things have changed. Uh, football moves on. Every game is different. There's, there's no two football matches the same. So hopefully a, a better performance from us and a different outcome. How difficult when you are playing against a team like Belgium is it to try and get the balance right between making sure you're disciplined in your shape and getting forward too? Like you have to make, I always say to the players, you have to make sure that the opposition know that you, you have the, the capability to hurt them. So it's important to get the defensive side right, but if you, if you go through the game, if you try to play 97 minutes with, with no attacking threat, then it's going to be a, a really long night. So you have to get the balance right. There is some familiarity with some of the players in your squad that have played against a lot of the, the Belgian players in England particularly. How beneficial can that be? Not beneficial because they'll, they'll know their talents, they'll know their, they'll know their ability. But I think for the, even for the lads who, who haven't come up against the, the English-based Belgian players is, is, is a great challenge for them. Like I said before, they should be, they should be relishing that challenge. Stephen, a game like this um, against the, the side ranked number one in the world, how important is belief and mentality? Yeah, very important. Uh, it's something that we, we spoke about a lot last week, about the positivity that we, we tried to build around the camp. I think there was a good feeling going into the Cyprus game. Uh, we did the usual Scottish bit where we tried to, we tried to make a mess here, but but finished, finished the game well and finished the game on a high. So we, we, we still have that positivity around the, around the squad and hopefully you can see that on the pitch tomorrow. You're obviously still getting to know a lot of these players as a manager. What do you expect to learn from the group tomorrow night? No, I think you, you'll learn a little bit more about the, the ability of the, the players to handle difficult games, difficult matches. I, I've only been working with the players for seven, eight days now, so it's, it's going to take me a lot longer than that to, to get to know them inside out. Uh, but what I've seen so far, I look forward to the game and I look forward to, to seeing different things on the, the pitch tomorrow. In general, Belgium, a fairly small nation, doing very, very well, obviously. Is that the kind of, obviously, long term... Is that the kind of thing that we as a country should aspire to? Well, I think eventually, if, like you say, long term, that can be something that we, that we should look at. But for, for me, it's very much short term. Uh, it's not that long ago I was manager of Kilmarnock and I was, I was preparing a, a domestic team for domestic fixtures. And now in a very short space of time, I've had to pick up the thread as an international manager. So for me, yeah, to speak about that is great. But for me, the short term focus was to get as many points as we could out of these two games. Any more questions? Uh, what did you change uh, since the last game against Belgium in uh, in Hamden last September? What did you change as a coach? No, for me, is is working with the players is just to bring my organisation, my shape to the team. Uh, what I, what I want, what the principles that my principles. Uh, I try to give them to the players in a very short space of time, and hopefully you'll see some of those principles tomorrow night. Steve, I want to shout from the back. It's uh, Chris at STV. Um, you mentioned it in your first answer. Was there an element because of the really tight turnaround, the very short space of time you had, that the, the, the shape and the setup against Cyprus was almost proxy for Belgium? It was practicing that ahead of what this, this game will be tomorrow night. No, I think to be to be fair, we we looked at the Cyprus game and targeted that one for three points. It was important to get a winning start. So a lot of the work that we did was was geared around that game. But listen, there's no. 
there's nothing that says that we can't take the same principles. Maybe not quite the same team. Maybe I change one or two players, but we can't. We, we have to take the same principles into the Belgian game. And from there, you're relying on your players to be to be good on the pitch. Uh, coach, you were the reason uh, for Romelu Lukaku to shine in the Premier League by this year in West Brom. Uh, I just wanted to know your opinion about him and the player he became eventually. Thank you. I'm not sure I was the reason, <laughs> but. I think Romelu was the reason himself, a very talented player. It was great to work with him. We had, a, we had a fantastic season together at West Brom. He scored 17 goals for us. We finished in a very good position. Uh, Romelu's got a great work ethic. He was a boy who, who loves to score goals. When he was a young player at West Brom, I couldn't get him off the training pitch. I had to, I had to go outside and drag him in and say, stop scoring goals, stop practicing, you know, just to rest his legs. So I'm really pleased that he's had such a fantastic career. And Obviously, I hope he doesn't do so well tomorrow night, but obviously, wish him well for the future. Okay. Steve, how, how big a learning curve is for you personally? I think it's going to get bigger. I, I think so far it's been a steep learning curve. Uh, lots, of, lots of information to take on board, uh, even looking at little details like the travel, travel arrangements for today, the way we've, we've arranged to come across here, uh, maybe one or two things to change in the future. But... At the moment, it's, it's nice just to get the, the games. And like I said, it's a great game tomorrow night for us. It's a great challenge. So all the logistics and all the, the sort of learning curve part of it, it is something that will come in the future rather than, rather than now. Okay. It's a big club, how big a challenge is this? No, it's, it's to, to be manager of the national team is, is a great honour. But the challenge is, is to try to lead the country to a, to a major finals. So the, the next one up is the Euro 2020 and, and we hope to be involved in it.